morning everybody I got ready for the day I have substitute training in like 15 minutes so I'm about to leave oh, so tired um I'm excited for substitute teaching to start again just so much fun to do if you don't have other thing like a lot of things going on work wise I'd highly suggest substitute teaching it's just really fun and I feel good about doing it outfit of the day is it professional for me to go to work in my Tevas okay I am back from substitute training I have to go half day afternoon with AmeriCorps and I remember, so in Charleston, I did grad school and I was like, oh, I want to do a part-time job as well. And I was like, oh, I'll substitute teach. And I did substitute training like in person, drove all the way to North Charleston for this training that I, I got paid for. And I called my mom like after I left that training and was just like, I don't want to be a substitute teacher. Like, I'm scared. Like the active shooter drills and things that they tell you, it's just like so much pressure because usually when you're a sub, you're a sub for a district, like not for a particular school. And that's a lot of pressure to have to like know all the exit routes for every school that you sub at, all the classroom, like the door, how the door locks and where the key is and all the stuff. And just to know all that stuff, going to different classrooms every day is just like overwhelming and so at that point, four years ago or whatever, three years ago, I was like, I'm not going to do substitute teaching. Then I did it last year in Austin and all the training was online. So I didn't have to go to an in-person training. And I also started in the middle of the school year. So like I just had to review everything and it was super easy. I subbed at one high school, Davy Crockett High School. And like I knew the students because I only subbed at that one high school and I would sub there like twice a week. The students knew me, like I knew the secretaries, I knew where to go to the, the teacher's lounge and the other student teachers and stuff like that. So it was like more manageable. And then here, there's not as many assignments. Like I like to sub high school. There's not as many assignments here for high school. So I have to sub elementary, like so I can get money from jobs so yeah it's just like a little bit more stressful doing it here okay i'm gonna make lunch <laughs> okay we're in the car i'm going to work today at work we're gonna do delineation-esque type things yeah I don't know why I just I feel so chatty I feel like I have so many things to say nobody to like listen to me the weather is starting to get cooler my term of service with AmeriCorps is ending soon a lot of the work that like was on my work plan for me to do is basically done I don't have that many more tasks to do it's like my work is really winding down and yeah I'm just like whenever I get like this like towards the end of a work contract or anything like that all I can think about is what's next like what am I gonna do next where are we living next what are we doing like are there jobs somewhere that I can apply to and all this stuff and I constantly job hunt like I year round are, am looking for jobs like even during this position that I knew I had a contract with until November like I have been looking like actively looking for wetland biologists wetland ecologist jobs wetland scientist jobs like I am always trying to find a job <laughs> Um, but it slowed down so much and there was honestly in the past since January probably actually since last October there's been 
three jobs that I really wanted and I applied for two of them the last one it starts like next week so I didn't apply for it and it's not a, a location that I want to move to so yeah I just like constantly looking for a job and I think right now like before last year last summer I applied for like 25 20 25 jobs and it's just like it <laughs> it hurts getting rejected from so many jobs and I think like I talked to my, uh, my undergraduate like advisor um, about it and I think I just wasn't being picky enough with the jobs that I was applying for that like I was applying for stuff that I wasn't really qualified to do so yeah I'm just like I'm being specific does it say wetland in the title is it a research assistant a research internship or research um research professional like those are things that in the title things that I want like that's what I want to do so I just like I'm hunkering down and I have the sites that I check and I just like I just need to be patient because the perfect job for me will come and maybe there is no perfect job maybe I'm holding on to something that like doesn't exist but at least I know what to do to get there and one of the things I need to add to my resume is plant identification so this year like my goal was to work on wetland delineation and plant identification and that's what I'm doing today basically so and that's something that they don't tell you whenever you like whenever I was even in undergrad like deciding to go to grad school and in grad school like finishing up grad school like they don't tell you like the timeline of when you'll get like a full-time position because everything I've done so far has been seasonal and it's fine you just got to do some seasonal work to get to that full-time position which it again I don't really mind too much because these seasonal jobs they help me figure out where I want to live the things that I do like doing for work and the things that I don't like doing for work so yeah we're figuring it out and it's working out and honestly, I just have to say that for me sometimes. Like, I always just have to tell myself, it's fine. Okay, this has been too long. day today it's another field day I'm going electro fishing I'm excited I've never done electro fishing um, so yeah so about to head out the door Yeah. Mm -hmm.
117, 14. Oh, yeah. <laughs> 149, 30.